Hey, what's up mortals, it's Noah here with a new video for you. In this video, we'll dive into Ryuji Sakamoto from Persona 5 The Animation. I just wanted to greet you guys by saying, sit back and relax, cause you're in for a treat. So, let's get started. I want to give you all a quick warning before the video starts. This video mentions sexual and physical abuse as well as attempted suicide. If themes like that make you uncomfortable, then please click off of this video and we'll see you for the next one. So Ryuji Sakamoto is a second year at Shujin Academy and the protagonist's most loyal friend. Ever since the track team disbanded in the year prior, Ryuji has taken the appearance of a delinquent which consists of bleached blonde hair and his iconic rebellious t-shirt that reads ZOMG. Ryuji ended up getting a leg injury that was permanent damage so he would never be able to run as fast as he used to. Ryuji only lives with his mom because they left his dad who was very abusive. He would beat both Ryuji and his mother daily. However, things started to look up when he was able to get into Shujin Academy through a sports scholarship. As well as the protagonist, Ryuji is close to fellow second year on Takamaki as they were in the same class in middle school together. Kamashita was the track team coach at Shujin who was famous for being an Olympian. During the first palace of the series, we learned that Kamashita was actually the one who broke Ryuji's leg because Ryuji attacked him. However, this was only because Kamoshida provoked him by talking about his alcoholic father. Ryuji's mother blamed herself for the incident, saying that if Ryuji had a proper father figure, this wouldn't have happened. This made Ryuji become very protective of his mother and even calls himself a bad son. He decided that he never wanted to upset his mother ever again. Ryuji's winter uniform is the same as his summer uniform, except he replaces his yellow t-shirt with a red one that reads no more rules. When he's not in school in the winter, Ryuji wears a purple jacket with the number 777 on the back and a black t-shirt that has a sad face in the center. In the summer, he wears a yellow tank top with on your mark and two red footprints on the front. Overall, he's a fashion icon. Although his school considers him a problem student, Ryuji is proud of his rebellion and calls himself a troublemaker. This on its own shows how he matches the ideal of the Phantom Thieves perfectly as the group exists to rebel against those who are too powerful for their own good. He's quite vulgar and aggressive, and he has a short temper as he gets easily offended when receiving negative comments. He's very straightforward about his feelings, especially when talking about his hatred for twisted people in power. He usually yells, even when he's not supposed to. Throughout the entire series, he'll yell about them being Phantom Thieves in public, nearly blowing their cover constantly. His delinquent behavior is his coping mechanism for trauma from Kamashita, and deep down, he's a very kind and loving individual. He cares for others' well-being even if those people have hurt him in the past. This is shown in the confidant when he tries to help the track team to the extent that he would allow them to beat him up just so they can vent out their frustrations. We first see Ryuji in the series when the protagonist, Ren, denies getting a ride to school with Kamashita and An. Ryuji tries to stop them, but he isn't successful. He asks Ren why he didn't try to stop them but soon realizes that he's a new transfer student. He explains how corrupt Kamashita is by describing him as the king of the castle, which accidentally teleports them to Kamashita's palace as castle was one of his keywords. The two are very shocked as their school all of a sudden becomes a medieval castle. They enter, but are immediately attacked by shadows which take the form of knights. They are put in the castle's dungeon and Kamashita comes into their cell and orders his knights to execute them. Ryuji is nearly killed, but Ren awakens to his persona, which allows them to escape the cell. After trying to escape, they run into a black cat named Morgana who's locked away in a cell. They help Morgana escape, and in turn, Morgana helps them get out of the palace. When they arrive at Shujin, they approach Kamashita, But Kamashita doesn't remember anything that happened in the palace, making the two believe that they might have made it all up. Ryuji suggests that they try to go into the palace again so that they can prove that it did happen. When they make it to the palace a second time, they meet up with Morgana again, who shows them all around. Ryuji is disgusted when he sees the knights abusing the members of the volleyball team that Kamashita coached. He made sure to memorize all their faces so that he could question them in the real world. Right when the three try to escape, they get ambushed in the main hall and are completely surrounded. Kamashita's shadow revealed that he only wanted the principal to be invested in the volleyball team, and Ryuji got in the way of that because he was a star athlete for track. That's the real reason that Kamashita broke Ryuji's leg, to get him and the track team out of the way. This angers Ryuji so much that he finally has his awakening, allowing him to fight shadows with his own persona, Captain Kid. When they return to the real world, Ryuji vows to expose Kamashita for his crimes alongside Ren and Morgana. Ren and Ryuji try to get information from the students about Kamashita's abuse, but they're not successful. We later see An's best friend, Shiho, try to end her own life because of Kamashita's abuse. The abuse was suggested to be sexual. Ryuji, Ren, and Mishima, one of the volleyball team members, confront Kamashita about this, but he retaliates by announcing their expulsion at the next board meeting. 
On accidentally stumbles into Kamashita's palace and is kicked out by Ren and Ryuji, but against all odds, she makes it back into the palace. Then she has her awakening and joins the Phantom Thieves, making the team now four. When they finally steal his treasure, Kamashita has a change of heart, and he gives a public apology to the entire school, confessing all of his crimes. Due to Kamashita's confession, they would no longer be expelled. To celebrate their victory, they use money from pawning off Kamashita's treasure to have a fancy buffet. At the buffet, Ren and Ryuji meet Shido, who's very, very rude toward them. This convinces Ryuji to continue being a phantom thief as he wants to change the views of adults like Shido. Through the next palaces, Ryuji helps the team but plays a more supporting role. His persona Captain Kid specializes in Zeo and physical attacks. Outside of the palaces, Ryuji is seen continuously hanging out with the Phantom Thieves, especially Ren, who he nicknamed Ren Ren. He goes on multiple school trips with Ren and An to places such as television stations and more tropical locations like Hawaii. Although Ryuji doesn't get as much attention after the initial palace, he's still a crucial part of the team. Over the course of the series, he participates in a lot of arguments with the other members, such as Morgana, who he struggled to get along with since their first encounter. One of their arguments finally results in Morgana temporarily leaving the group, which causes the rest of the team to turn on Ryuji and blame him for hurting Morgana. The next time that Ryuji plays a major role is in Shido's palace, which is the most important palace as Shido is the reason that Ren is on probation. After they had defeated Shido's shadow, Shido took medicine in the real world which he believed would kill the Phantom Thieves. The team couldn't find an exit, making them trapped. However, Ryuji came up with a plan. He risked his lives for his friends by running up a crane and holding onto a lifeboat. This gave them the chance to escape. Everyone was able to get on the lifeboat except for Ryuji, who held onto the crane and gave them a thumbs up. On cried out his name and the whole ship exploded making the team believe that Ryuji had died. Back in the real world, they realized that they were successful in stealing the treasure, but morale was low because they had just lost one of their closest friends. It's then revealed that Ryuji actually survived the blast, and he reunites with his friends. He mocks Ans crying, which results in him getting beat up by the team because they really thought that he died and he was mocking it. Ryuji was one of the first members of the team, and he played a very crucial role as he was the one who created the iconic calling card. Although he's a little unintelligent and sort of a delinquent, he makes up for it with his great fighting skills, immense kindness, and fierce loyalty to those he loves. Thank you all so much for checking out the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Now, there's a few more things I want to talk about before the video ends. Our two other channels, We the Celestials My Hero Academia What Ifs and Naruto What Ifs, tell the story of their namesake anime but with an awesome twist. So definitely go and check that out if you're interested. Again, thank you so much for watching the video, and I'll see you in the next one.